how's your weekend day? <laughs> Good. Now. Yeah. You got me sick last week. I know. I'm now, so I had a head cold and then I and then uh, Dustin had a head cold and we passed it to you, yeah. and, but we didn't pass it to Diamond. <laughs> yeah, she she's totally she's cool. Completely fine. But hit me like a fucking truck. Yeah, yeah. So was, yeah, put me out for a couple of days. It was so I'm terrible. sorry we didn't have our show last week. I just I was under the weather. It's I could fine. not do it. I told you this is this is something that we're doing for fun. That eventually, if we get a sponsor, yeah, people then... start paying us for <laughs> coming to work. You know, sick but yeah. it's free <laughs> this so. is fun yeah this it's free if we I start adding time off if we start adding commercials you know what's up <laughs> right <laughs> so yeah man i'm having a really good week um i'm almost done with crunch time at the job job yes almost fucking done so as soon as i'm done with that shit i can get back to talking to people on shit. twitter and facebook yeah. and doing more shit um last week's episode was or i should say two weeks back or that episode with Diamond. Seeing Diamond was so much fun, I dude. She's I so just lovely. Had, I had a great time yeah. with her. Absolutely. So uh, we need to do more. Yeah. Of uh, we've got um, Steve scheduled. Um, I talked to Anissa, so okay. we've got. Oh, we got Anissa. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring in a lot of people, a lot of guests. We just got to get through the holidays. Be patient with us, yeah. and you know we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, but um, we're back. Yes. So um. Yeah. Folks, hang on. We've got a pretty fun one for you today because okay. we've had some pretty crazy episodes this season. Yeah. So we thought that we would do something that – now, here's the thing. I'm not a holiday person. I don't do holidays whatsoever, so I'm not right. advocating this shit. But you brought up the topic, and I say, yeah, all right, if we get to explain our perspectives on gift-giving, then I'm okay with this yeah. conversation. Well, before we get into that, I did visit the strip club yesterday night. Ooh. Um, you know, Callie, our friend who was on the episode stripper stories. Did we mention that this was mature audience? Oh, I love that episode yeah, for season two, two so with up. Callie. We, you nasty girl. We did, uh, her, she just turned the dirty 30. Wow. Last night. Really? Yeah. So How I was she handling it. Oh, she's. She's beautiful. You know, she gets her hair done. She's got her nails done. I know, but when yeah. you hit certain, like, age, yeah. you know, dead yeah. meat. Oh, so, yeah, she still looks good. Never yeah. mind. My so, bad. So I just stopped in. I brought us some roses. I talked to everybody. There was, like, four dancers that I knew. I knew the management, and I knew nobody else, basically, in the club except for the regulars that are at the bar. Wow. Yeah. Times are changing. Times are changing. And it was only just a little over a year the last time that I danced. So it's a huge turnaround. Well, the industry has always been like yeah. that, but I think it's a little bit faster now. Yeah. Hey, great. were the girls fine down there? I mean, no. the new crop. <laughs> no. Wow, really? No. We're we going to have to do an episode about that. Uh, we're on that. We're going to yeah. have to go to one of the local tna bars and and, and take just a look evaluate at the new yeah i mean i don't want to go but it would be cool this old old, old bitties old, just old hanging people out to go down there and <laughs> take a gander of the new crap that's yeah. all out there yeah well let's start this show yeah my name is pixie and i'm mr j and you're listening to next on stage one denver's best and well not only, no no not only not no only. no entertainment night live podcast told from the stripper's perspective we have over 40 years in the business so a we might know a thing or two about what we're talking just a little bit we, we we've had a lot of fun we've taught a lot of strippers how to do uh sexy things we've done all kinds we've of done shit. a lot of different stuff and today's episode like jay was saying is it's about it's about that time of the year where you think about giving somebody a gift uh -huh. and so i thought it'd be kind of cool uh, we sort of did a an episode for um valentine's day like this did we i think so where, where we talked about gift giving okay for valentine's day well this list that i've created is 10 things and it's built around my husband because i love my husband big d is a very big part of our podcast Aww. and and when when we think about giving gifts to people sometimes the person you're giving a gift to is particular La the last show we did 
I gave Jay a very nice hoodie of the podcast. It's an awesome hoodie, too. You know, we see, need to put that up on the uh, on Patreon or some shit. Woo! Your name on With it? With your name on it? Yeah, yeah. it was tight as fuck. I mean, that, those, those kind of gifts are gifts that you can give all year round. But you have to make sure that the gift is for the person and it's in your... Uh, not everybody's love language is the same. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I was to give you a gift, it's because, like, I appreciate you as a person. Yeah. It's like the um, little bat signal. That yeah. I gave you. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. It, right. It, it it's totally specific yeah. towards me. Totally. Yeah. It doesn't. When I give gifts, it's not because of uh, certain times of the year. I give gifts because I see something that resonates with the person good, that good. I think about. And that's what gift giving should yeah, be. It, you it know, if you want be... to come at it from from that perspective, yeah. I'm all about that kind of conversation. Yeah. I honestly don't think that gift giving should be at a specific point in the year we will exactly. decide all of us just going to give shit to each other it should be when you go out and you see something that that certain particular someone in your life might like you and go hey like, yeah, i'm gonna get a little bit like extra that. money i'm gonna pick that shit up for them because yeah. they're gonna love the fuck out of that and see that's where i came up with this list of 10 things and okay. i know you have a smaller list than i do no it's not smaller because i came at it <laughs> from a completely different direction right. that you did as, as we <laughs> always do as we always do because because that's, that's what we do. Now, how did you come across your list? Okay, when I put together my list, because I want to kind of come at this as a conversational stripper perspective type thing. Because Ooh, yeah. this show is about strippers. adult nightlife yeah. from the stripper's perspective. So that's how I came at it. You know, from yeah. that, that's where I came at it from. So I'm thinking if I was, if my girlfriend or, I'm not going to say wife because your wife shouldn't be stripping. The, the, the chick that you hanging out with yeah. is a stripper because I've dated a couple of strippers. <laughs> if I were to give them a gift, yeah, this is what I would give okay. them. Okay. Okay. Um, that way it's still stripper based. I also did a little Google research on gift giving. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you. They were terrible top 10 lists. Oh, yeah. They were and, and I bet you they were really bad for men. Terrible top really bad. 21 gifts to give. They're like candle, uh, dice. Gay. Uh, just, <laughs> you can't say that anymore. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> no, fuck that. <laughs> no, just terrible, terrible gifts all the way around. And I was like, this is not the kind of gifts that a man would want. Uh, no. No, they just like, oh man, it was. Well, it's always been like that though, Pixie. You I, know, Mother's Day, moms get great shit, but fathers get, get screwed. They get ties. Every year. <laughs> we either get a tie. And, that, and I'm not going to say we because <laughs> I'm, I'm nobody's daddy. But I, I, I could be your daddy. <laughs> no, but seriously, fathers get screwed. That's and, It's always been so like that. So that's actually the first item on my list. A tie. So, no, um, new socks and underwear. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, there is a reason why new socks and underwear are on the list because this list is geared towards my husband. Okay. Because my husband will wear a pair of socks out until it has multiple holes. Until the toes are hanging out. And, and Until it's walking across the to the room. You know, it's just like. That's a functional sock. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fulfilled <laughs> its life. It's, it's done its purpose. But he won't throw them away. Well, so in my mind, those socks get thrown away because I do the laundry. Okay, I'm doing the laundry and I come across these socks, so I throw them away. Do you find the mate? No, I just no. Throw, so you just no, throw. I just so throw now them. he's going through his laundry, okay, and he's getting ready to put on one sock. And he's looking desperately for the other oh, sock. Oh, he's not looking desperately. That's where the, the mystery sock. sock goes. It doesn't get lost in the laundry. It's because your wives are throwing that sock away. So every year I give him uh -huh. new socks and new underwear. Wow. So this is the base of my list. That's all right? so sad. So this is all based upon Big D, the sound guy. Never a husband. surprise, is it, Big D? Do you, Woo! Do you like I that? wonder what I'm getting this year. Big D, do you like that for your Christmas? <laughs> See? Okay. Ah. See, I told you this list is geared towards him. Okay. And what he does. So, I also want to talk about the differences between <laughs> men and women too, because there right. is a difference. There is a okay? difference. Okay. You know, yeah. women want certain things, and men, quite honestly, we're 
really easy to please. We'll see if my uh, list holds up to your guys' standards. <laughs> yeah, <I can laughs> so far, I'm not it. doing... It hasn't yet. What about yours? What, what do you have? Uh, give us one off of your okay, list. Okay, now, I'm a different type of guy, right. dude. You know, I, and I'm just not about physical shit. I'm just right. not, you know? I'm not going to give you something that is probably going to be forgotten you know when, it's like when kids get shit on christmas you know two years later they forgot they got that right. toy <laughs> right. this, this is the bottom of their fucking toy chest you know and and women can be like that they can you know? be like that you, you spend your harder or... money on a piece of jewelry and you go baby 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 you're gonna love this okay you break up she's pawning that shit next week or she could be like me and don't like jewelry Everybody, everybody's love language and see, is that's, different. And see, that's cliche. That's very cliche you know, I, when it comes because a lot of people think that all women like. I don't like flowers and, flowers. and I don't like no, jewelry. I get that. I so get that. I'm. It's so it's really hard for Big D to shop for me. Mm -hmm. What are you getting me this year, Big D? For case of deodorant. See, <laughs> a, case a, of de a case of deodorant. A case of deodorant. Why? Because he's a dick. She always comes and uses my deodorant. <laughs> oh, like, okay. Like my wife, and she smells like a man. <laughs> She's a that dick. is annoying <laughs> as fuck. He's okay. A dick. <laughs> Why do y'all do that? Wear our clothes. Wear our deodorant. It's, and and we can't comfy. do vice versa. No, you can't. Well, Big D has wore. I have these very sexy. They're not sexy. Velour um, pajamas. They're really mm -hmm. soft, like super fucking soft. And because I'm a little chunkier now, yeah. I've caught him. He put a pair Are of Are they them comfortable? On. She, yeah, she takes my hoodie. She takes my pajamas. <laughs> I, I totally she agree with you. I, no qualms <laughs> over here, <laughs> dude. I totally agree oh, with yeah. you. Why are you wearing my fucking shirt again? Okay, so he doesn't just wear them. He wears them inside out because they're softer on the outside. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's great, They're man. They're super tight on him. <laughs> so it's... But I got I I have to agree, you know, and and that's what I mean about the differences between right. men and women. There's certain things so that we don't care about, you know, but there's thing. certain things that we do, you know. That's the second thing on my list okay. is um, sexy bedroom attire, like buying a new robe for them, buying them a, a new fresh pair of like silky pajamas or something. So it, it's it's not for him. It's for it's me. It's for you. To enjoy him. Okay. That way he has something that he can lounge around in. Still I'm, keep pajamas. Still keep it like, like, you know, Hugh Hefner style. Okay. What's wrong with my holy underwear? But... You know. <laughs> did you give him a smoking jacket too? No, not yet. You mind as well just I'm, go I'm ahead. Wear, and I'm working on it. I'm working on it. entire uniform. <laughs> uh, you know, and these kind of lists. These are, this is a much better list than than the sample things that they put out every single year. Nobody wants a set of those stupid dice. You know what I'm talking about. Kiss here, lick here. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Okay. It's cheese. Okay. It's super cheese. Yeah. And I'm thinking real things that are practical for a man who basically I get wants you. for nothing. He's, I get you. He's a... Husband, he's a father, he's somebody who's it is so easy manly. for you ladies <laughs> because men are very, 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 very easy to fucking satisfy, okay? Yes, but this fuck them, feed them, and and just keep them <laughs> and dangle some keys in front of them, you know, toss them a power tool every once in a while, and, and we're pretty happy, you know what I mean? Well, but most of the time, you guys overthink it when it comes to us. Well, this list was hard. It oh, was I'm hard sure it to was. come up with because I'm thinking all of these different things. I'm looking at these different lists. I'm like, that's bullshit. This is bullshit. How do you really get to the bare bones of what somebody's going to want as a gift? Because I know I have uh, stories of people getting me gifts. I'm like, that's, that's a terrible gift. Every year... My mother and my sister go out of their way to get me some sort of nerd stuff, which I appreciate. I'm but, a huge but, nerd. But I know you are, but here's the thing. I, I bet you they don't they they buy they you really no shitty idea. nerd stuff yes. because they are not nerds and they have oh, they, no idea. She'll love this. Socks. No. Nerdy socks. Another I get sad. I get nerdy socks. Mm -hmm. Um I'll get merchandise of the stuff that I like, but not the toys that I want. Right. Like I could give them a list of what I want. I would get you better and, and well, it'll, nerd shit. Yeah, than it would they be can. terrible. Yeah. It's, it's that kitschy merch that they sell on top of the toys. Right. The stuff, like, what do I need a lunchbox for? 
with no, my I, little pony. I totally fun. feel I don't need you. it. Right, right. I, and so what it ends up every year is I take that stuff and I give it to a little girl. <sighs> I give it to somebody else that's gonna enjoy it. I know. No, I, I, I totally it. feel you. you and know? I tell them. But the intention's Stop. good. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I get it, you know. But the thing, and that's why I'm not into the tangibility of certain items. I don't really yeah. go shopping for people because I'm a very specific nerd. You know? Right. I buy toys too, but my toys, my toys. A little bit more expensive. They're a little bit different, you know. <laughs> yeah. So when dad goes out and he sees a Batman toy in, in the toy aisle and goes, hey, my son would love this. My, no, dad. No. That's a toy. It's, it's not an action figure. Right. That, that's, but thank you. Yes. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you still um, have to be grateful. Somebody did take the time. Right. To they think were thinking about, about me. And they just suck something. at it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I'm not into tan tangible items. I'm more into, um, I don't want anything that I, I've given you to help you remember an experience with me, only for you to use that to have an experience with someone else yeah. or or be able to sell it for a profit. So yeah. I'm not into that. I'm more into sharing experiences with you. So that's where the direction I was going. If I was giving a gift to my lover that was a stripper because we're stripper based. <laughs> yeah. See how I always bring it back home. So what else? What's another one you got on your list? Okay. If you're dating a dancer, okay, and I did my share. All right. Um, foot rubs or coupons. For, and I know it's Coupons are stupid, so cute and, I, and cheesy. But I know it is. They but I know women. <laughs> okay. I, and men, we don't give a fuck about goddamn coupons unless it's talking about <laughs> getting some ass in a specific way that you rarely do. And that That's the only reason we would even care. But you ladies love I don't love coupons, but yes, okay. it almost made my list because it's cheesy. It is but cheesy. It's cute. Okay, and dancers, we well, not me. I'm I'm over it. Um, <laughs> but female dan female dancers, I get it because you ladies are up on stage a whole lot more than we are all night for an eight hour shift, and most of the girls that I knew or hung out with, a foot rub was oh, yeah. at the end of the night was oh, was yeah. a was a great gift. So if you can combine that with an experience of drawing her back, then I know it's, I know it's, I know, I know it's gay, but hey, I know I'm having a hard time with that word. Um, I, I know it's flouncy? cliche. Let's use I know the word cliche. flouncy. But women are different than men, okay? Yeah. And I honestly want to share an experience with you, and I would make a no orchestrate a, a, a night that would include pampering, which includes a foot rub, and... You know what? It doesn't even have, you have to be a special occasion. So what made my list actually on the next list because we didn't um, we didn't cross our list. You don't know what's on my list. No. So on my list, my next thing. These are not in any particular order. This is weird. Mm -hmm. Is men love to be pampered, so why not get him a massage? Now. I used to be a massage therapist. I went through the training and I was a clinical massage therapist. And so Big D is always complaining, rub my shoulders, rub my back, rub my hands. Okay. And so buying him a professional massage would be a, a sort of pampering that I wouldn't have to do for him. Would you take you a massage? You would have someone else do it? Big D? Yeah. I give him massages all the time. Would you take a massage? Oh, of course I'll take him. A professional a massage. Professional. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, but at the same time, Pixie is is, is a semi-professional right, as well. Right, but... One of them Asian parlors? No, not an Asian parlor. <laughs> see, and see, and, and, that, see and that. that's exactly yeah. where that, see, that's the crust of the entire fucking topic, dude. That's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You, getting a coupon from you as his wife, as a semi-professional, or even a professional masseuse, you can do a lot more stuff than... Well, a, a professional masseuse this, could, is, and is, honestly, that's what I want. That's what he would well, want. Well, the thing is, is that I get lazy. Yes, you really, do. really do. Yeah. yeah, but if I could send him to a professional to God give him a back damn. rub, hmm. you know, just spend time, have somebody spend time on his back. They just don't get it. He gets back rubs all of the time. Big yeah, he is, well, well, he's very spoiled. Well, you okay. should be. I see. Wow. You should be. Look, that's what you do for each other, okay? I used to hate giving. I hate feet. Hate them. 
absolutely Peter, hate him. I don't. Peter ugly. Peter fucking nasty he, dude. He barely I don't care lets how cute his, you uh... are. I don't like fucking feet. Okay. <laughs> and but the way to a woman's heart, especially a stripper's heart, Is rubber her feet, feet at the end of the night. Yeah. What else you got on your list? All right, so this is great. <laughs> um, now, th- once again, I want to come back to this whole differences between men and women because we're we're very very basic. Okay, yeah. so one of the things I put on here was lingerie, and I put a question mark by it. Yeah. Okay, because it's really not for you. Right. It just like the it's pajamas really not. are for me. Like the gray sweatpants, that's for the ladies. You don't wear gray sweatpants for yourself. You wear them because women are. I'm telling you, they're, mm. they're, 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 something primal happens when a man wears gray sweatpants. Okay. Yeah, it, we do it's a little total, good. It's yes. totally the it, women yes. that are just like, oh, hey, it's, it's not you. It's, well, it's not for them. It's for you. So yes. So getting them the proper pair of lingerie in their size. What you like to see them in. What you like to see yeah, them in. Yeah, totally. It's a turn on for them. It's like the schoolgirl skirt. So let me ask you, I wouldn't you, be though. wearing a schoolgirl yeah. skirt for me. I'm right. You for... wouldn't. Yeah. So let me ask you this, you know, um, because I've known a lot of girls and I've never had an opportunity to ask this. You know, if we, when we do buy you lingerie, knowing that it's really not for you. Yeah. It's really for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, do, do Are you ladies even into that when you get lingerie that we buy I, for you? When I, we run down to I Victoria's it. Secrets and say, hey, baby, check out this box. I, I bought something for you. Right. Um, Big D, he has bought me lingerie in the past. Yeah. For, I think it was two Christmases ago. Okay. Uh, but one of the parts of the, of the, the set didn't come with instructions on how it was supposed to be tied up. So it didn't. I only wore the top part of it. I didn't wear the bottom part of it because okay. it was it was too intricate. It, it, was, it was weird. Yeah, it just okay. either it was it was not the right thing or it was just it. The instructions were unclear. But I thought it was really it was it was cool that he was willing to go out of his way to buy me something that that was something he wanted to see me in because I have okay. a I have a particular thought process of what I think I look like. Okay. And to see myself okay. through the eyes of, of of whoever I'm with, I mean that, because we all have this like, all right, this is this, this is how sexy I think I am. But mm-hmm. if you can see if you can see yourself through the eyes of the person who loves you, I follow. I, I follow mean, it's that. totally different. It, it's a different kind of sexy. It's a different kind of intimacy. And see, I'm not married. Yeah. <laughs> And I haven't really experienced that long a time with someone. So I've bought lingerie for a number of different people that I've been with, you know, but it's usually with the intention of, you know, what well, we're it's only going to be right? on for like five, five seconds or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's or, in, or, it's twirl around. Or you can and... keep it on. <laughs> it does not matter. So lingerie is, is, is a, is a gift that I've it given is. it. It, de- it depends on how long I've known the person, you know? Yeah. Um, I was going to put in jewelry, but once again, jewelry is another one of those cliche things. If you're with somebody or married to someone, I see the exchange of jewelry being cool. But mm-hmm. if you're just dating somebody or if you're dating a stripper, do not buy that bitch any <laughs> fucking jewelry, dude. She will sell that the day you're out the door. So, um, yeah, even... Even if you think that um, it's a special moment, usually it's it's usually not with dancers anyway. It's inter- so I stay away from it's jewelry. It's interesting. Like we we can't tell you anything that your relationship's gonna last. Me and Big D have been um, we've been together ten years now. <clears throat> so no, I know that's crazy. So another one on the list for him. Um, he'll spend a good portion of his life in his vehicle. So on my list, I have take his vehicle and get it detailed. Ooh. Yeah, and that it's touchy. But hmm. if you get the vehicle that he loves, that he takes care of, and you take it down and you get it detailed just right from a professional and you bring it to him and he he gets to see how much you care. I don't care about my vehicle, okay. but I know that he takes time and effort into taking care of his vehicle. He's Men been, do like their they cars. They do, yeah. Men do like their trucks. And so it's it's something he loves. It's not, not something I would do for myself, but it's definitely something on my list that I could see Big D enjoy. Okay. Big D, would you enjoy somebody detailing your car? Yeah. 
See? Ah, see, I, another another good one on my list. Okay. Yeah. I know you. Well, you have maybe not. My, maybe not my car, like my baby car, but my work. <laughs> my truck. baby car. Yeah, my you work know, truck, and I drive back and forth from the so, work. That is so interesting because I'm thinking the same thing yeah, the li- entire time. Tastes like little bit. Nobody is touching little exactly, bit. Exactly, <laughs> man. And and that's the weird thing, you know. Between now, if you gave me a coupon, yeah, you know, to uh, uh because I I'm. Real cautious about whoever touches yeah. my truck, okay? My car, I give a fuck. I right. drive back and forth to work, but my truck, no t- you, no, you need, you need to bathe. Me. <laughs> okay, but, so, uh, but, yeah. uh, but I get yeah. where you're going, and, right. um, and because the car detailing would be great, but uh, man, once again, we're basic. We would love you to say, you know, here's a coupon to blah, blah, blah. So I can look at this coupon and go, okay, I'm not going by that place. Yeah. That place. <laughs> it sucks. Know, I appreciate it, baby. I'm going to trade this in. I'm going right. to get it done the right way. Thank you for the thought. So don't take his car and get it done because, yeah, get, we're, let we're him, real Let him go take his car. Yeah. Okay, we, I, get, here, here's some money. Go take care of your car. No, because money's, <laughs> money's impersonal. Right. I on it once again. I think it comes back to coupons. Okay. You know? Okay. Car detailing. Okay. Um, so what else you got at on? this place? But <laughs> I don't know shit. What about else you got on your list? Detailing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we talked about jewelry. Um, I don't like the concept of getting jewelry because once again, um, if you buy someone jewelry and you think it's a sentimental. You know, that, that the key in the heart, you know, yeah. we're going to be together forever. Um, no, she pawned that shit a long time ago. But <laughs> so... um, body jewelry is a fucking winner. Oh, that's um, cute. If you yeah. find some interesting shit when it like comes to some, body uh, jewelry. nipple piercings. Yeah, some, man. Uh, if your girl's got some belly body, button yeah. chains and stuff. You uh, get her some interesting or, shit. Or maybe even further south, you know. Yeah. Like toe rings. Well, that was what I was. Oh, that far <laughs> south, dude. But yes, I was in that area totally. Um, if your girl's a freak, you know, and we know a couple of ladies that got yeah. a couple of, and she's into piercings. Got a you know, piercings. Give That's... her some interesting body jewelry. They got some. Nobody's gonna stuff resell out body jewelry. No. no. Once it's in, then it's taboo to sell it afterwards. And there's some clever yeah. stuff out yeah. there. Yeah, there's some cute stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, so body jewelry and would be something hot that I would do. And it's very intimate. It's very mm-hmm. personal to that person. Only I'm seeing that. Yeah. Unless, yeah. of course, you're on stage. Yeah. And then I don't As care. a stripper, yeah. Right. Like a belly button. <laughs> All right, so another one that I got on here is uh, Big D is a very big gearhead. He really likes the things that he likes. Not every man's a gear no, gearhead, well, but I, I get it. Well, when I say gearhead, there's certain things that he carries on him every single day. These are his EDC. Um, and one of the things that he carries on him everywhere is his pocket knife. Okay. And it's it's something he has multiple of. And he's kind of a pocket knife uh, enthusiast. enthusiast uh, he's kind of snubbery on it. Mm-hmm. But it's one of those things that you can go. Uh, we have Spider Co. here in in Colorado. We okay, have some yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher end knife places, um, a pocket knife or something that some, like if you're really, you're into fedoras. Yes. So it would be one of your gear items right. that you wear almost all of the time. It's always on you. Yes. Okay. That I would get you. Okay. So yeah, like, yeah. like your hat. Yeah, it fits. Like, right. Like Big D's um, pocket knife. He probably has about a couple, and each one of them, them are kind of different. Yeah. Right. No, I and get so you. I know the style he likes. I know what what he's into. You take him to you take him to uh, one of these army surplus stores, and you say, "Hey, baby, you." You pick out what you like, and you just let him. You, yeah, you see? let him jewelry you, shop. You. It's like jewelry shopping. Oh. What, what do you think, Big D? Would you? She gets it. I guess. Take your man jewelry <laughs> shopping, and that's his type of jewelry that's, shopping, exactly. dude. That's fucking genius, If he's man. into pocket watches or um, watches in general, you can take him to a place that just sells yeah. watches. Let him pick and something. say, yo, baby, you can pick whichever you want. Yes. Get that shit. I got you. And then and then, if he does give you jewelry, it's kind of a to and fro. So that is cool as fuck. So that is a great idea. It's, it's a way to be techie specific. So if he's into a lot of like, uh, if he's a if he's into like video games and stuff like that, go out, take him to 
GameStop, buy them a, buy them a brand new controller. Yeah. Buy them something that's so See this wall, baby? All this shit. shit for you right there? You pick what you want, baby. That's all y'all. Take them on a shot. Dude. You take your man on a shopping trip. For what he wants. That's for pretty good. It, that's good. Yeah. It's not. You don't have to. A lot of Remember guys. Remember Toys R Us shopping yeah. spree back in the day? You know, yeah. where, where they say you can win a shop and you run around the toy store and just throw shit in the, in the, in the cart. You know, that's what you should do with your man. You say, look, mm. this is X amount of dollars. Pick your shit, baby. Get your shit, baby, and throw some cheese on that. What do you think, Big D? I got you. I can use another knife. There you go. <laughs> See? That's and, good. And so my list is is very husband-specific. I like that. <laughs> so far, I'm winning. All right. So, we, all right, you are winning. I am um, winning. <laughs> all right. I'm a big, big fan of um, home cooking. Oh, yeah. Okay? I you are. You cook my motherfucking ass you, off. You love your kitchen gadgets and when your I keep it clean and your and your home stuff and your handmade sauces yeah you love that yeah so, so that could be your nerdy your nerdy tech item well if I was giving it as a gift as a, if, if I was, I was giving saying it to you. as yeah. an experience yeah. um I I can cook a five course meal so even if you're not a cook there's so many different recipes that are available to you yeah. now if you've been to a restaurant and you like a certain thing look this shit up on the internet and and surprise your girl with that yeah you know oh a home-cooked meal would is just fantastic yeah especially if you know like a recipe from your significant other. Oh family. yeah, when or you... call a grandma and say, "Grandma, oh, yo, man. yeah, grandma, give me your secret recipe for I'm gonna hit that that recipe." Yes. Send that over here. Yes, and th and it just adds an extra level of thought. And a lot of these these lists, there's there's no thought of the person behind. It's just like, oh, well, I'm just gonna give them that because I don't that's like what material do. shit. Yeah, yeah. It, there's no, you know, unless it's something really specific, but at the same time, like we were talking about earlier, if you, if you don't know what you're really doing, yeah, we can fuck <laughs> it up, you know? There's a difference between a toy and an action figure, right. you know? So, I, I appreciate where you're going, <laughs> you know, but I just stay away from the material. I, I think that if you can make um, a, a, a knight uh, or... Or because I, I love what you did because you mixed both of those. You yeah. said, hey, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to make an experience. Right. And you get to buy some shit. Right. Pick right. something. Right. You know, something's yours. You know what I mean? Guys do that all of the time. For yeah. Me. The they flip that on his head is good. You got guys who are, are paying for trips and experiences. And, and then what they get on the back end is they're getting socks and underwear. And <laughs> it... It's kind of it's kind of a double-edged sword cuz you do want to make sure that your significant other is getting treated you know how you want to be treated in the way that that you know everybody's love language is different. Right. Like the way I the way I say I love you to You're my right. friends and the way that I say I love you to Big D totally different but similar. Right. And and a lot of it's just understanding who the other individual is so you're not overstepping your boundaries and you and they're not pawning the shit you're after right. they're done. That, that's it. we kind of get lost during the holiday season. Like it right now to me it doesn't feel like the holiday season. I am not into this. Uh, we barely put up the Christmas tree like last night. Really? I don't feel like it. I don't feel uh, I don't feel like I don't I do any be. of this shit, so, um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's so, any other day for me, but I get you. But so there's this, this instead of just giving because it's that time of the year, mm -hmm. it should be like what we said in the, earlier. Just do it whenever. It should be because you love that person and you thought of them. Right. And that's that's really great way to smooth all yeah. the ar arguments when you're mad as fuck at your bitch. No, you that's know. that's uh, getting hmm. naked titties. Oh no, we'll, we'll come to that because once again, basic <laughs> shit. We will come to that when it comes to to men because y'all yeah. sometimes y'all try to over explain shit. It's really fucking simple. <laughs> It what, really is. What else you got? Okay. Um, <laughs> now, if you are dating a dancer, once mm -hmm. again, because we're stripper base <laughs> pixie, okay? Um, a cool dance bag. You know, oh, if yeah. you're dating a stripper, um, and that's, because it could be a wife, girlfriend, whatever. Yeah. Um, there's the dance bags we saw at the park. At Th the park. Those were beautiful dance yeah. bags. Those are something, you know, a dance bag gets kind of gross. Yeah. You, you really want to either 
toss it away within a year or you, you want to kind of rotate that out. A, a nice good bag doesn't have to be expensive, but it should be durable and it should, it should show that you care about that person and, and what they're, you know, it's kind of cool. You walk into a club and you got this beautiful dance bag. Yeah. You kind of show it off. So if you're dating somebody and you go, and, and that's, it's the season, to, you know, give a gift to a yeah. stripper. Do dance that. bag, yeah. Yeah, and if you see a really cool, durable dance bag yeah. or a tip bag. Ooh, there are these yeah. really cool ones that look like to go, um, Chinese takeout to go boxes. Yeah, those, those things are, are cool as fuck. Strippers love the shit out of those. N not me, male stripper, we're really different. Um, <laughs> but female strippers love those. So that kind of shit, if you can get a creative uh, dance bag or tip bag yeah. for your favorite stripper. That's where I went that with this. Cool. I'm sorry. I went a completely no, different no, direction. No, no. So uh, the next thing on my list yeah. is to add a spicy, kinky thing to the bedroom. Just one. So this is kind of cheesy because it. a lot of people go like the dice or a feather, those kind of things. I like feathers. Yeah, feathers cool. I know you like feathers. <laughs> it's so silly. Okay. And, and uh, it's got to be something... Like if you're getting a, a toy, which we talked about this on the episode for the sex doll one. Uh -huh. If it's something if that you can if, incorporate. Yeah, if you're bringing it into the bedroom. You're buying it together. Well, you might even not be buying it together, but you're buying it for the purpose of being together in the bedroom. So when you're buying something new and kinky for the bedroom, you need to make a night of it. A lot of this is making You're right. Making a night of it. Yeah. Because when you get a new toy the foot rubs, yeah. the draw in the back, right. the, we're, the we're, kinky shit. We're yeah, totally. making effort to say, Hey, this thing is this is what we're gonna do. And you take that time to basically experiment and teach and help each other understand the body love language. Mm -hmm. And so it's more of an exper experience at night with your loved one. So that's where I was going with that. Would you, uh, Big D, be down for uh, something fun in the bedroom? Probably. Oh. See, I, I, I love you, Mary, folks. Because, I'm sorry, because I'm a slut. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or I'm a reforms uh, allegedly. I don't. Allegedly. I don't do the shit anymore. Allegedly. Okay, but so I've dated a lot of kinky people. So nothing was really out of the equation. It's really right. your boundaries more than anything else. Are you going to be okay with this? Because I've done some pretty fucked up shit. And if she's on board with that, then then yay. You know what I mean? But really, realistically, what this was is to bring a brand new thing between two people. Not not something from previous relationships okay some a new experience a new between, experience right. two people that because are because you two knew you're going to be together yeah okay so it so it's more of a this isn't this isn't a used vibrator this is a, <laughs> this is a new vibrator no, I guess. and then only during this relationship will this ever be used yeah yeah so it's so it's something that's just for you and your individual uh, partner I'm, i so love that you put it that way that way, it's not, you know, it's, okay, well, I'm going to use this when you're not at home. Yeah. This is, okay, we're going to use. Or I'm going to use this if the relationship dissolves <laughs> and I'm with someone else. It, see, see that, that, it's that kind of shit that yeah. I don't, you know. Yeah. So it's like, about the gift giving. It's, it's gift giving with the purpose of allowing somebody to know what you like in the bedroom. It's a. It's a experience. It's a gift. It's a it's a gift between two different people, allowing you to be more intimate with your lover. What do you think? Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I what else don't, you got on your because list, everything because we're we're stepping into the <laughs> kinky realm, and I'm not sure if that's something that you can just do on your own. You know, um, that, because well, you would have to talk to a person. I mean, as kinky as I am. I'm not going to pull out the briefcase with the with the whips <laughs> and and the feathers and right. and the paddles. I'm not going to do that on the right. first because I'm not sure what your boundaries are. <laughs> I mean, I will go that far, but I don't know who the fuck you are. But if you um, bought a new thing of silk ties and you said, "Hey, uh, you presented them. Here's here's your sexy lingerie mm -hmm. and here's some silk ties." Well, I'm into shibari, and mm -hmm. you say. 
you may not be into shibari, but let me show you something that I'm into. Okay. And you give them a brand new outfit, mm -hmm. a brand new set of ties, and you explain how to tie somebody up. Gotcha. So it, now it's an experience how between you them, How two long people. would you have to be with this person at this point? Uh, that's definitely more than a... Uh, a one night stand. <laughs> and see, that, and that's the difficult part about this whole gift giving thing, you know? Because when you talk about giving, because I'm not sure if we're talking about lovers, right, the stripper, right. you know, down the street, the stripper you might be fucking real I'm not, close to fucking. I'm not tying up a new stripper with Shibari because that's what I'm into. A newbie stripper? I'm not, no, I'm not like going to meet a stripper and then like we're going to go back to my house and then I'm going to Shibari put shibari on her hmm. not that night no. i'm not I, she's she's gonna have to get to know me first <laughs> it can happen the it, first it night it could happen but it can depending on you don't want to on the circumstances you, don't you can make that happen. A, a, you don't know what somebody else is in but their past some of those girls are freaky <laughs> as fuck some of us are some of us are vanilla yeah, and well some i've of had us sex are... with a lot more of them than you have there pixie okay so <laughs> stuffed animals okay and i'm Oh, I Fuck can't you. say that. <laughs> See? St and I'm not talking about a little itty bitty stuffed animal, shitty one that you oh, go man. to Walmart, okay? I'm talking about a big fluffy fucker, okay? Oh, that you no. can't. Yes! No, yes! No. Yes! 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 No. And especially if your girl's an animal lover. If your girl loves dogs, you get her a big fluff or win her a big fluff. Trust me, she's oh, always going to. It will leave a lasting impression of you on her. Even when the relationship is fucked up and I like done, stuffed animals. she'll look at that stuffed animal and think want, about you. I do not want a six foot tall yes, you do. teddy bear. She'll no. think about you while she's lugging that damn thing around and cursing at it. it, it you know what? It, but she'll <laughs> lug it around with her. Bobby it will big. never yeah. leave her until it's raggy <laughs> and fucked up. I'm no. telling you, man. Women love no. stuffed animals. So, hey, stuffed animals. It'll, it'll go it, in the fellas. storage unit. and But get a good one, not a shitty one. <laughs> no, I'm saying no on that. <laughs> You're wrong. Well, I'm also not a romantic. No. No, I, I'm not a romantic. I'm not the one that would think to make a really dedicated food meal for somebody. That That's a love language a lot of people um don't understand hmm. the language of food a lot of us have different we have a different hmm. relationship with food than we have with sex food can do some it can do a lot of it can do things. a lot of stuff when it yeah. comes to sex so when when we make these lists and we talk about this stuff we we also have to remember who we are so another <coughs> well, well, I, I know who i am so another thing that came up on my list what? so I only I only have four more items. Oh, yeah. so, okay. So so on my list is um, surprise blowjobs. <laughs> you okay there, Jay? I must absolutely one hundred percent agree with this gift idea, and I think all men are on board for more blowjobs. Surprise blowjobs! I blow spearhead <laughs> this motion, and you know what? Fuck it! I second it too. And I'm I why it's on my list. It is, should be on your list. It this should be on your list too. It should be on people's list because it's we we usually just get into okay, I'm going to make sure it's Friday night, I'm gonna have sex with my my significant other. Okay. Okay, so well that gets boring. Just like when we were talking about the sex doll. Sometimes you just have to step it up. maybe. Your significant other just needs a blowjob. Just needs, just needs to to get a little steam off of his chest. I hear Big D's over there just. Because uh, uh, uh. yes. you're so right, dude. Yeah. Well, I also don't. I'm not. When I was doing this list, I'm like, these are things that I should be doing for Big D. And honestly, I've probably been slacking. If you want to keep them, dude, yeah, that's kind of ladies. If that's what you want, you ne you <laughs> need to be doing that. What do you, what do you Honestly, think, it's a great gift. I wouldn't say you're slacking, but uh, you could probably pick up the tempo a little. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's why surprise blowjobs are my list. Listen to shit. You know, it, it, and I, and if you're slacking in that department for your significant other, it, it goes both ways. Yeah. It really does. But a lot of it is just thinking about somebody. Before you think about yourself. No, surprise blowjobs are so, fucking great, dude. Yeah, I mean. What, what, dude, 
we're basic. Basic. We're so fucking basic, basic just, okay? It, it's not very hard, it's okay? Not, no. I've talked to so many women when Valentine's Day comes around, and you know, guys are going through these extravagant measures in order to please their woman, and a woman's asking me, What should I do for my boyfriend? Fuck him! You honestly, <laughs> it's really that damn easy, okay? You just need to step up the tempo just a, just little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> and and surprise blowjobs is one of those things, okay? There's nothing better than and working ladies. on your car, okay? And you feel some hands behind you, and next thing you know, somebody <laughs> Yes! And it's free. It's free. I mean, it's going to take, depending on the person. And if she doesn't say an anything hour, afterwards and just, just zips leaves. you up and goes back to what the fuck she was doing, even better. That's, also, that's my girl. Also, knowing when to give a surprise blowjob is very key. You, no, so that's the whole point of surprise. <laughs> but. <laughs> he's least expecting it. If he's watching football, that might no, not be a good no. Good time to give a surprise But if you can up. sneak one in a really fucked up way, like <laughs> when the parents are around or in the other room where you can get away with it real quick, that's going to fuck them up mentally. That's great shit, dude. Blowjobs are never blow jobs. Are like five minutes. I will never turn down a goddamn <laughs> blowjob. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> Beautiful shit. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Men, gentlemen, um, car customization. I did like what you were saying about uh, detailing, and I think uh, this is real close to what I was thinking. Men, we put together shit. We're artists. But we... don't just go out and buy him whatever. Make sure, like, if you... No, if her. You... I think you should take her oh, car, and I you think also... you should, you yeah. know, either give it, it it's... it's you know, tune up or, That would you know. be great. Yeah, that would show that, oh, well, dating somebody who who knows vehicles, who doesn't work on my vehicles, that would be great for me. Yeah. I would like that big D. <laughs> yeah. You know. Right? It's like, but I, if it, I'm but if it's a, a mechanic. Motherfucker. Yeah. But if it's on the other foot and you're, and you've got a guy who's really into his vehicle. Yeah. Have him set up an Amazon wish list kind of thing where he doesn't know that that's, that's what he he wants to do just just kind of be like okay you buy something <clears throat> off of his wish list just, just go into his amazon account yeah, his look, amazon look, account look, has look exactly at, what he look wants. at his list on there he'll already have yeah, them on already there already know i go there through, you go I, I got folders on my wish <laughs> like Camping. You know, challenger. <laughs> but see, camping. I hate that. I, I, I hate the fact that I, I don't like the wish, the wish list. But you concept. wouldn't know that somebody was. Yeah, I just have them because I want those things. I'm gonna, things I want to buy later. Like right. I put a list together for what I'm going to do. Put, get, buy for my challenger or for camping trips and stuff. And he would I make never folders know. in there anyway of stuff I'm going to buy. Yeah. That okay. way it's already, and then it's, and then it's a package that shows up at the door, and he'd be like, what did you buy? And you shake it, like, oh, my gosh, you bought another package from Amazon. What is this? And he's like, I didn't buy anything. And he opens it up, and there's the part. And he's like, well, maybe maybe Amazon shipped me something that they shouldn't have. And you're like, secretly, ha, 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 Okay. It's kind of sneaky, okay. but it's a lot of fun. I mean, Guys know what guys are going to buy themselves. Men are very, 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 simple. very, very basic. Simple. Yeah. We really are, you yeah. know. And and I think that's why even gifts between guys are, is pretty easy, you know, yeah. because I would know big D at a guy level where I'm right. like, this dude knows he, he, he likes a particular football team. If I see a right. jersey he's into, I'm like, oh, he likes the Rams? This is a badass shirt. Here's a gift. Right. Problem solved. You know what I mean? Um, so Or you so, would take him out for beers. Yeah, so right, right, right. Once again, very, very basic. You know, um, this I played this video game. I think you'll like it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of a thing. Sorry. <laughs> so men are very, very, very basic, and when it comes to the male-female interaction, it's very, very simple. Fuck right. me, feed me. It's very, <laughs> very simple. Okay, because you're not going to get it right on the other shit. You know, give me some coupons. Okay, yes. um, give me some coupons uh, that give me access to pussy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> give me coupons to that give me access to. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, food. Yeah, we got to eat too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, it's very simple with us, you know. Um, women really kind of over over glamorize it. Yeah. They, they they really yeah. do, you know. Another one on my list is um, tickets to his favorite band or sport. Team. Which once again he would have handled himself, but that's a great Maybe. thing. Maybe I Big D won't he won't spend um, ticket he won't spend money for tickets on a whim. 
he's thinking about things. He's planning things. He's making sure that the family need, needs get met first. And then something like that would be a bonus. Okay. So if I knew that a particular band's coming in town and I could buy him tickets, if it's a sporting event that I don't want to go to, buy him two tickets and tell him to take a fucking friend. Then I like it, that. Then I don't have to go. Somebody else can go with him, and they can have a great fucking time. Tickets for him and his friend. For that's him and a, his that's friend. That's a great yeah. idea. I like that. Yeah, it's yeah, that's good. Super simple, and it's really interesting that you can just let it. Because sometimes we all think that we have to go with our significant other. You know. No, go have fun. Just. It's an experience that it's you a, can it's do. A, it's, a, it's a moment to get him to fuck away from you for five yes. minutes. As much He'll as love you, you love more. your significant other, you know, every mm-hmm. once in a while, it's like, just go, go over there. Away. So when you come back, you have new shit to tell me. Yeah. It- and I'm tired of hearing the same old <laughs> shit. All right. So thinking along, because this is a good conversation. This is a you great know? conversation. Because you're, you're, you have to think about certain things when it comes to the experience between what do I get my man? So yeah. I had to think along those lines too, you know, um, what do I want? Because I had to think from that level. Yeah. I'm like, you know, what, what would I want my lover, my girl to get me? Hopefully my girl been with me for a minute that she knows I'm in the comic books and yep. toys anyway. So hopefully I've gotten her so refined that she see, she don't just buy me junk. You know what You're I mean? right. Yeah. Well, Big D couldn't buy me action figures if I yes, if I gave him money. You're barred from that. I'll buy my own <laughs> yeah. shit. Okay? Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> but I do like experiences where um out other than sex and but here's the thing, if you're gonna get if you're if you're my lady, yeah. Whatever you get me yeah. needs to include sex, okay? <laughs> this Simple and at creatures. the end of the night we Fuck it, okay? <laughs> simple it, It's really pretty yeah. simple. It, so so what else you got? So this one was uh, shaving a haircut. Um, oh. You know, if you get it, if you, yeah. you, you treat me out for that, you know, get my, yeah, it's get like doing shaved the, up. It's and, like doing the back massage. Yeah, totally. Yeah. A guy, I wish Big D would go and treat himself like that. No, I, you treat him. I, I know, but he won't. He won't go. He's a very no. gruff, manly <laughs> Manly type. Would you? Would that. you go get the the hot shave? It's a really buy, cool experience. I, I wouldn't buy it, but I'll go if it was given to me as a coupon Same. or something. Yeah, no. yeah, that's yeah. cute. Man, he might even like it. You know. Yeah. So, um, shaving a haircut um, with 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 sex later. <laughs> um, okay. Um, as a as a next dancer, um, if you're dating a male dancer, boots. Boots. We yeah. always need boots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a male dancer would like that. Uh, and socks for the boots. <laughs> um, oh, we'll handle that. Um, power tools is always a fucking win. But at this, well, I'm not sure if if you, would you be able to fuck up power tools? I don't think you would. So a tip for power tools is go into your man's, his garage, his man cave, mm-hmm. and look and see what brand it is. If it says Milwaukee, you're good just getting Milwaukee stuff. Okay, right. And, you know, whatever it says on that brand of the most recent tools that he has, that's the brand you want to go with. You don't want to go with the older ones. And uh, That's pretty good. What, right. Whatever it is because um, all of them are going to be universal. So if it's Milwaukee, it's going to be Milwaukee. Uh, men can always use new rechargeable batteries. They're kind of expensive, so it's better off getting... Uh, a pack of things. So a battery charger, two batteries, and then some sort of new thing to go with it. it. You really can't go wrong as long as you're staying within that same company. Right. No, you're right. You're right. Would you? Yeah, cause, uh, cause most guys are kind of brand loyal. Yeah. Well, That's what, good. What are you running in your in your man cave? No, oh, oh, uh, crap. I like craftsman, craftsman stuff. So, yeah, so I could go down to any Sears and go to their craftsman aisle and pick up something right. that, that maybe I don't have. Right, and okay. I would I would stay away from your general cheesy. Yeah, kit. if it's general shit, then uh, we you, already have it. You don't have to go get we screwdrivers wrenches. and wrenches. Yeah, right. uh, it's it's like a it it's the other talk fun to shit. The, talk to the old guy <laughs> in the, in the aisles. Hey. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You can, okay. You can even take pictures. Take pictures and Ooh, be like, that's a good be idea. like, 
he this runs, is what he has. This is what he has. What doesn't he have? And then can you point me <laughs> in a direction? And they're going to be like, yes, my dear. And they're going to lead you right to the tools. And then they're going to make you, you're going to make you pay. I if like he has that. tools, if he has tools like Craftsman or DeWalt or Milwaukee, just get him the batteries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He probably uh, already batteries. has the power I'm tool that he you needs. Batteries. You're, you're he right. already has the tool <laughs> that right. he needs. But you can the batteries last about a year for me before I'm replacing them. Right. So, have always having more batteries is better than not having more. No, batteries. No, I get that. I yeah. get that. You know, and batteries are very useful. It's a useful item. Yes. Men are all about use. You know, yeah. it's about and fulfilling our bellies, getting a use out of something. Or you could or also, fucking. if that doesn't work, you can just take them to the to the tool shop and say, "Hey, husband, my significant other, Pick something. Big D." Go ahead. Pick, Pick something. something. Get get yourself something nice, my dear. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, so I finally have um, body rubs are always the win. Okay. You love body love, rubs. Man. You, you're Let totally about the... the with, with the sex. With, okay. with the nouveau. Oh, the new... New Yeah, The new roux jelly jam. If you're stuff. dating somebody... Look, it, we're... <laughs> Basic to <laughs> as long as we get this plus sex at the end of the night, we're it's pretty much solid. It really, really it is, really dude. Is. You know, I've had so it many really conversations is. with ex girlfriends about this, and they would ask me, Well, what do you want? I'm like, Honestly, honey, it's really, Real really simple. simple. Yeah, yeah, spend time. Make an effort, do a little things. Uh, go, go get some fabric and make a bow on yourself. And meet me over there. When I come <laughs> home, I walk in a room. You're like, ta-da! <laughs> Unwrap your Perfect. Gift. Yeah. So one of my gifts um, on my list, I only have two more. And this <laughs> this one is take him to dinner and tell him how much you care about him. Guys don't get the time. Nobody's patting a guy on his back. Nobody's telling a guy he's I doing a job. I appreciate you. It's so true. Big D, how often do I compliment you? Quite a bit, actually. Oh, see? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> no, something needs to be done. I'm winning. I'm winning. Yeah. But a lot of us, we life is so fucking hard. Life is so just goddamn just droning sometimes. Sometimes it's traffic. Sometimes it's the fucking weather. Sometimes it's your vehicle acting up. Just a little bit of, hey, you're doing a fucking good job. Okay. Just from the the person that you care no, about. No, I follow you, dude. It's, I it's do. It's so simple, isn't it? It's I just mean, simple. it depends on the relationship, you know, because life is hard for everybody. Yeah. You know, and sometimes, you know, two partners have to work separate jobs, so they have their own separate little hells they have to go through every day. This, but this one's so easy. The majority of the time, you know, when you've got somebody that is doing a lot of the a grunt lot work, of the work in order to keep the wheels, you know, moving. Yeah. Look, I don't. You know, I don't like, have to you're worry. You're doing a great job. Just yeah, keeping shit going. I don't have to worry about anything. I, all I do is if something happens, I talk with Big D. He fixes things, and there's right. nothing wrong with me taking my man out to dinner, showing my appreciation for the person that I love. This right. can go men or women. And Thank you for keeping these lights on. Yeah, you know. Thanks for hooking that up. And you're just like, I appreciate you. The, have I told you lately how much you mean to me? And that could—that's—that's uh, that's a fucking game changer right there. Yeah. That's something I'm telling you. Men need to hear it. Yeah. Women need to hear it. We need to be more cautious and tell people and vice versa how we feel yeah. about each other because life is too gosh darn short. That gift giving—it should be something so simple that where we're understanding who we're giving the gift to, what we're doing. Yeah, well, you're trying to gift. brighten that person's day. That's exactly. the whole point. Exactly. That's what this whole list is, yeah, is man. about. It's better to give than receive because you see the, the light go on in that person and go, damn, you thought about me. That's exactly what I, not, exactly. I needed or wanted, you know? Uh, it's simple. It's it's just the human need for interaction, good, good, clean interaction with somebody, and it's just knowing them on a basic le level 
because the, the cord, <laughs> knowing them on a basic level that that really gets to who they are as a core. Do you have anything else on your list? No, no, I'm 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 pretty well and good. But I love the direction that you went, you know. And even I if have you don't have more. anyone, okay. <laughs> um, and then, but let me and let me finish this point because yeah. I I wanted to, I was hearing what you were saying. Um, even if you don't have someone in your specifically in le- your life, do something for yourself. You can yeah. give yourself a gift. You oh, know? Yeah, you can um, you can take care of yourself and make yourself buy feel yourself something. something. Go do nice. something new that you've never done before. Yeah. You know, um, a new thing that you've never done or a new thing that you. Nah, I've never had a drone. I I'd fly a drone. You know. Yeah. Uh, let me buy myself a drone and I go out to the park and fly it around for a little while. I don't know, just shit like that. You know. Gift giving to yourself can make you feel I wouldn't get too used to buying yourself whatever you want no no it's gotta no. it's gotta be where it's not treat yourself to a massage yeah where it's not at the Chinese you're not massage breaking place. the bet ba- the bank you're not putting it on a credit card you're not overextending yourself you're doing it because you you've worked hard at it and you've saved a little bit of money and you're doing it because you deserve it and sometimes you just deserve it yeah, you just so. deserve it What's the last one? Always deserve a Chinese massage. Right? <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. What are you, are you trying to tell me they're not qualified? Oh, they're qualified. Oh, they're qualified. <laughs> oh, they're qualified. <laughs> All right. So my last and final of this list. So this list is not in any order, but this is the big one. Mm-hmm. Is book an adventure to the mountains with your significant other. Like, my high club. <laughs> without flying. Uh, go get get a cabin. Do do something. That's so cute. In a cute You're know, so I'm cute. So, I'm so dorky. I love the mountains. So mm-hmm. so and it doesn't have to be the mountains. If you're a person who loves the get a ocean, cabin somewhere or yeah, find a lake. Yeah, get someplace out. Get out of the hustle and bustle of this this life that we're all droning for. Book it for him, and and just be like, hey, this is what we're doing. But you can book it with the kids. You can book it without the kids. It's better without the kids than it can be. Uh, oh yeah, kids a, in the equation. Yeah. <laughs> a special occasion. Mm-hmm. Uh, this way, you can if you book everything and you get everything together and you let him know, uh, d- just just say, hey, th- these are the days. Are we available? And he says yes. Book it. M- take all of the guesswork. That way, he doesn't go. I don't know. I don't know. Just. Just book it and do it because if you ask too many questions, you're going to hem and haw over it, and it's never going to get booked. Guys like it when they don't have to worry about all of the details. Oh, yeah. If you got everything handled, fuck yeah. 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 Take care of it. Get everything done. Make it stress Free. Now, don't get stressed out if shit goes Wrong. awry because <laughs> things happen, happens. okay? So don't get tripped out because he, he, even if it turns out you don't get the go and yeah. he's aware that you did all this shit to make him, the, yeah. to allow him to have a really good weekend, he's going to appreciate that. He's not mad about the experience, not ha- not having the experience. He's happy that you put some thought into it. So also, just sometimes just do. Don't nag. Yeah, don't and don't be a it, bitch. Don't make it. Don't make it a nagging experience. Yeah. Don't let if, if money is trouble or if the parents are what's causing the trouble, whatever the trouble is, just forget it for that time. Yeah. It's once just you, about you and Once him. you get in the car, you yeah. just drive and it's no, just put it outside your mind because you don't want, you don't want extra stress. You want to make it stress free. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Be? Totally. Sounds good to me. Yeah, see, we're going to go to the mountains. And make sure that you throw <laughs> surprise blowjobs and trip up. Um, yes. And, and surprise Roadhead. blowjobs as, Sur- soon, as soon as you get into the cabin. Roadhead. And, uh, <laughs> hey, when he's fishing, yes, yeah, surprise blowjobs. <laughs> just, just keep throwing it in there, folks, and you're going to be so fine. So what did you think of my list? That's pretty good. It's, it's good. It's, it's cute. Good. It's, it's cute. different. Cute. Um, yeah, it's about experiences. And, and right now, dude, we all kind of need a little bit of love. So do some crazy shit. It's it's the season for it. And I'm not saying season because I don't give a fuck <laughs> about the holidays. This is supposed to be but for gift giving. It, it's been a, it's, yeah. I mean, I forgot to change batteries. Okay. 
We're wrapping up. We're close. And I'm going to talk to Big D, and then we're going to wrap up. Okay. And I want to talk about the shirt that I'm wearing. You know what? And the podcast. What? I bet you that whole last part of it didn't even get recorded because the battery exhausted before I hit stop. Well, this well, is going to be a fun one. Have, we still have the Zoom recorder. Yeah, we have the audio, but as far as the video is concerned. You, your cup. Oh. Where are we? Uh oh. We're we're um. I know we're, we're close to wrapping we're up. We're at the end. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna ask Big D what he thought of my list, and then you and I we're gonna talk about the podcast and the analytics. What what's going on? That's fine. You can lead to where. But where are we right now? We're at the. We have already done the list. We're good. That's where we're at. Don't worry. I got this. Yeah, I, th I think the last 14 minutes we didn't, I didn't capture on video. Because Damn, that's a lot. <coughs> um, we'll see. Don't, don't worry maybe about the list. We're done. Maybe the camera's smart enough to realize that it has to save before it shuts down, but I don't know if it does or not. Okay. Well, Dustin has to deal with video, so audio is going to be good. Ready? No. What are you doing? I am. Never have I ever. Oh, how long have we been recording for? I have no idea. An hour and five minutes. So I don't. I think need we ten have time. minutes or something. Damn it! We keep doing. It's just a solid hour of us rambling. It wasn't an hour of us rambling. We had a good conversation. <clears throat> it's gonna be a good episode. It I don't is think a it's good. Enough. It is a good episode. It's an hour and five minutes, and we we haven't even finished the show. We'll be fine. Put your phone down. We have to do Never Have I Ever in one of these shows. Yes, dude. put your phone down. It'll be fine. <laughs> Red? So, it was a good list. Mm. Uh, your list is it's cute. It's strippery. It's it's fun. It's, it's lighthearted. It was pointed in the direction of the show, <laughs> Denver's Best. It's a nightlife episode. Adult I think it's Night cute. Adult nightlife podcast off from Stripper's Perspective. Big so, D, what did you think of just, uh, my my list of gift giving towards you? Yeah, well, we'll see if any of it comes to fruition. Tuition, yeah, fruition, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. I'm not crossing my fingers. I, I wouldn't. Say. I wouldn't. <laughs> Pixie talks a big game, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, they, they talk a good game. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, yeah. hey, let me know how it goes for you, there, partner. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a great show. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Oh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. We had people in the in the Twitter spaces listening to us. We had a lot of good stuff going on. There's a whole lot of show about nothing. No, this show right. is good. This, show, right. this show is good. You'll like it when you go back to listen to it. <sighs> you just worry too much. You're a worry wart. <laughs> I am. Yes, ma'am. So I am wanted to talk about the show. The show on the back end and this awesome green shirt that I'm wearing in this episode. This is 20 Tim Minutes What's up, 20 merchandise Tim? shirt that he sent to me. I and like it. I like it. Uh, he's actually transferring over to his new merchandise. So he does 20 minutes of mental health. And because it is the holidays, because we do think about, you know, gift giving and stuff like that. Um, you, you did say it. Sometimes you have to buy something for yourself. Yeah. And so mental health is very important. I think we should take time to make sure during the holidays we're taking time take for Take care ourselves. of yourself. Yeah, yes. totally. Because if you don't reach out and you don't talk to people and you just button it down like a lot of men that I know do, it, it can be really hard on people, especially when they're lonely if they don't have a significant I do other. appreciate that you brought that up today. Uh, the mental health, especially right now. It's been I a think... rough year and a half there, folks. And the holidays usually get people down yeah. or can get yeah. people down. So reach out. Um, yeah. Hell, just listen to guys like I us. I think men's mental health is really oh, down right yeah, now. Especially right now. And, and being who I am and what I like doing, and I love – doing the podcast and I love talking to you, mm -hmm. you at least have somebody in your corner. You know, mm -hmm. you have me. 
Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's your yes. friend. Yes. That's your friend. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I, I just I think. Thank you, Pixie. I know. I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> I just I think it's a very important something that we need to talk about. You know, and just yeah. just be there for an, one another. Uh, it doesn't feel like this. It doesn't feel like a holiday season to me, which means that this is either a seasonal depression or it's uh, reoccurring depression. So a lot of a lot of the things that I'm going through right now, they're things that I have to talk about to people. So, mm-hmm. and I can't be the only one. So if well, I'm feel, if I'm feeling it, you might be feeling it. Big D might be feeling it. So it's one of those things that I wanted to highlight in the show. Uh, uh, you guys will see uh, pictures of the shirt on Twitter and possibly okay. on Instagram. So it's just a lime green T-shirt with Tim's. Uh, Kooky Tim's face. nice. He, he kooky yes, face. I love it. His face on a time clock. <laughs> His face. On I like a time that clock. guy. He's super cool. Yeah, and um, our show is going really well. Yes, we're, it is. We're doing really well. I I love the interaction from people. I love people telling us how they thought of the episodes. They love the episodes with Diamond. They love the episode. God. They love the episode with the sex doll company. You know that. Season three has been People fun, dude. We've fun done some us. really stupid shit. Like the porn parodies. Um, your, porn parodies was yeah, good. Yeah. Um, your Axel like Braun, he is going to do another uh, movie, and it's going to be Spider-Man oh, porn God, parody. Fuck. All right. It was cool. It was cool. He tweeted it out. I, ta- I tagged you in the post. Did but you, you never... Have we reached out to that guy yet? I I need to reach out to we him. We reach out to him. I, I want to reach out to him and have him on the show, so we but we need to get your computer together. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'm working on that. <laughs> let's reach it out. Let's let's reach out to that guy. Yeah, I <laughs> that'd be a fun. I one. think it would be great. Um. All right. So hey, I'm almost at peak almost season, there. so I'm gonna be doing all kinds of crazy stuff on Twitter very very soon. You can always find me, Mr. J, next on stage one. Um. We have a Facebook page, next on stage yeah. one. Um, Pixie's always doing all kinds of crazy shit on Instagram and Twitter. She's got a lot more followers than me because, well, she has breasts. Um, Because I'm on Twitter 24-7. And she's got titties. (laughs) I don't even use them. It's okay. It's all right. I'm I'm okay with it. I should use them for evil. You've got like 100 times more people than I do. Yes. Well, whatever. That's because I talk a lot. Yeah. This was a great show. I enjoyed the show. I have fun too. <laughs> no, no, it I'm was glad. fun. It was fun. Um, okay, so I don't know really where um, I'm going to go see Spider Man this weekend. So I'm hoping everybody's going to have a good time with that shit too. No spoilers. I no spoilers. I blocked uh, Spider Man the movie on Twitter. Did you? <laughs> yeah, that way, that way I wouldn't get any spoilers. So if I see spoilers, I'm removing you from my Twitter feed. Okay. Well, you're banned. I, I won't Fuck tell you. you. I had a great <laughs> <Yeah>. time tonight. <laughs> so it was fun. Yeah. 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 I can't wait. Um, we're probably going to do a little finessing on next week's episode mm-hmm. because Christmas does fall on our yeah, recording day. Yeah, I know. So it's probably going to, we're going to move it to probably the day afterwards. Right. Which and, works. And, yep. and folks, keep in mind that you can keep in contact with us on a number of these different mm-hmm. platforms so you can sign up so you're alerted when the new episode yeah. comes out. Because they're supposed to come out on Monday. Yep. Yeah, Jay. That's all you. Sometimes it doesn't happen. <laughs> Even um, with extra But day. they usually get out by Tuesday. Yeah, you're good. So, um, you know, last week we, we took a little, well, I had to take yeah, a break. And next week, because of the holiday season, I don't give a shit, but obviously a lot of people do. Yeah. Um, it's, things that might be a little bit wacky. And if you enjoy this episode or you enjoy what we're talking about, we're going to say it over and over again. Share the podcast with a friend. Just one person. Just one person. Yep. For for our Christmas gift, share this with your friend. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. One, pre- one gift person. One for gift. us. Yes. One yes. person. Say you one can person. Give you us love a gift. this. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Also, you can rate us now on Spotify. Sweet. If you've listened to any episode on Spotify, you can give us a, a five star, five star rating on Spotify. You can give us a rating 
on Apple. You can give us a rating on Podchaser. You can give us a rating on Good Pods. And you've got the website coming up sometime yep, we soon. Have a so website we can start coming. throwing out uh, some of our stickers to people too. Oh, it's going to be great. Cool. Yeah, I had a great time. I did too. Thank you, guys. My name is Pixie. And I'm Mr. J. And you guys have been listening to Next on Stage 1. Talk hard, Denver. Bye, guys. Remember, surprise blowjobs. Yeah. I mean, early and often. <laughs> this is a good episode. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs>